Welcome back. You know what that lounge music means? It means we're in the Laugh Lounge, and our guest today can only be described as the Ill illegitimate child of stand-up comedy, a TED Talk, and a man bun. That's, that's kind of what I was able to put together. He's a stand-up comedian, a YouTuber, a life coach, and your favorite ginger, my ninja, it's J.P. Sears. Hattie, you had me at illegitimate. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so you wear a lot of hats, or flower hats, I should say. Yeah. Um, what came first? Was it the comedy or was it the spiritual awakening? You know, I'll give you the story. It'll only take 11 hours. So let's go back <laughs> to my childhood. Okay. Technically, the comedy came first, not professionally, but as a child, comedy is how I dealt with pain. You know, it just make myself feel good, make people laugh around me so I don't have to feel what I feel inside. And it's how I brought joy to people around me. Then fast forward, grow up, I, I become a life coach, help people help themselves. Uh, really meaningful work, I loved it. But during that time, I was like keeping my humor suppressed yeah. in my professional life, thinking like it would be bad for business <laughs> to, to like be my humorous self. I'm supposed to be serious. But then about five years ago, the, the itch just kept coming to me. I've got messages I want to share through the language of humor. Finally gave myself permission to just be more fully me yeah. and be fully humorous. So that, that seemed to be the scenario. So I think the chicken and the, the egg were like created simultaneously in this weird genetically modified hybrid. I think they actually sell that at one of the grocery stores here. So They do. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a fake smile, by the way? That's a great question. Can yeah. we see? So we were talking about that earlier, fake smiles. Do you have one? I don't. You don't? I don't have any smiles. Oh. So how, how does that work out throughout? Good, because the more <laughs> sociopathic I come across, the more people don't know how to read me, which makes me feel more in control because they have to guess. Ah. But, you know, I'm, I'm blessed. I, I don't like to, I, the fake smile thing is one of the biggest things that annoys me. It's like, whoa, that's so disingenuine. Like, yeah. let's just be real. And, you know, I, because I'm just a giant kid, I don't have a real job, I do comedy for a living, <laughs> yeah. so I don't need to do the fake smile thing. Gotcha. Yeah. So I have, I do have a question for you, because I noticed that on uh, your videos you get all kinds of questions from, um, I'm ugly, what should I do, yeah. to like, we talk about selfie psychology, which really resonated with me, specifically, yeah. um, but what's been kind of like the most off the wall kind of, you know, advice you's, you've gotten as a life coach? that I've gotten. Or that you've, you, people have asked you for. You know, on a serious note, uh, someone, when I was answering serious questions on my YouTube channel, all those videos are still up there as well. Someone wrote in about like, you know, it been in a string of relationships with narcissists. Oh. And you know, a very serious topic. And you know, through my experience, the, what I posed back to her is, what makes you a perfect match for a narcissist? Like, let's not hide oh. behind the, the disempowerment of making yourself a victim. Like, let's go into radical self-responsibility and ask, like, why am I being a perfect match for a narcissist? So I think that's, that's, that's really empowering, and it is rather unusual for us to look at that, that situation that way. Wow, this got really real. It did. <laughs> It and did. it's going to get really real at your show, too, for our audiences, right? It, it will. Just I'm going to spin this around, all kinds of stuff, oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at the Comedy Zone and had a great show last night. Beautiful crowd. And, and you more. guys got you got two more shows coming up. Actually, four shows. We did the math yeah. on this earlier. You guys, be sure to check out these shows at some point. This man is hilarious, and he's got a lot of great life advice for you. So I, find this, I like the find way this you, segment again. I like the way you think of me, Hattie. <laughs> yeah, two more shows tonight, two more on Saturday at Comedy Zone. That's right. Find it again on our website, firstcoastliving.net. We'll be right back.